Hello one and all, welcome to another online video by Einstein Academy. In this video, we'll be looking at learning outcome A from the topic of atomic structure from the JCH2 chemistry syllabus. Specifically, learning outcome A states that candidates should be able to identify and describe protons, neutrons and electrons in terms of their relative charges and relative masses. We would first like to begin with the definition of the atom an atom is defined to be the smallest particle of an element that retains the chemical properties of the element. How you should think about the atom is that it is the building block of all material that exists in this universe. If you were to connect different atoms in different ways, you can build the pen, you can build the paper, you can build a computer mouse, you can build a computer, you can build any matter that exists in this universe. What differs is just the way it's connected and what it's connected to. So again, we just like to have the view of the atom to be the building block of everything that exists in the universe. Now, having said that the atom is the building block, we can ask the question if the atom can be divided into smaller particles. And the answer is that yes, the atom can be divided into smaller particles. In fact, it can be divided into three types of smaller particles known as subatomic particles. The three types of subatomic particles are the proton, the neutron, and the electron. Now, um, some of you may be interested if the proton, neutron, electron can be subdivided into smallest particles. And to that, the answer is the proton can be divided into smaller particles called quarks. In fact, it's made out of two up quarks and one down quark. Whereas for the neutron can be divided into three, uh, also three quarks, two down quarks and one up quark. However, as we know it today, the electron is the smallest subatomic particle that can exist and it cannot be further divided into smallest particles. Having, um, all this is just extra information that will not be tested in any way in the JCH2 chemistry syllabus, just for your own knowledge. Now, we would like to look at the physical property of the proton, neutron, and electron. The symbol for the proton is written as P+, plus. the symbol for the neutron is written as N, while the symbol for the electron is written as E-. minus. The electrical charge measured in coulombs, which is basically the SI units for measurement of charge, is positive 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs, a very small number indeed. The neutron has a charge of exactly zero, whereas the charge of the electron is exactly opposite in sign to that of the proton, negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs. Now, all these electrical charges, these values, are all measured in SI units, but in the syllabus, it says that we are only interested in the relative electrical charges. So for example, if I'm 60 kgs and another person is 40 kgs, we just have to reduce them to the simplest ratio to find out our relative mass of um, each one of us. So if we were to reduce these three numbers to the simplest ratio, we will arrive at plus one, zero, and minus one. And hence, the relative electrical charges of the proton, neutron, and electron can be said to be plus one, zero, and minus one respectively. And it is this column that is required knowledge from the JCH2 chemistry syllabus. Now on to the masses of these subatomic particles. The mass of the proton measured in grams is this value. And again, it's a very small number. The mass of the neutron is very close to that of the mass of the proton. Whereas the mass of the electron, as you can see, the power is 10 to the power of minus 28 grams. It is much, much smaller than that of the mass of the proton and the mass of the neutron. Again, the learning outcome requires us to know the relative masses of the proton, neutron, electron, and not the actual masses in terms of grams. So if we were to reduce it to simplest ratio, we will arrive at these values where the relative masses of the proton, neutron, electron is in the ratio of one unit is to one unit is to one over 1840 unit. More often than not, we will state that basically the mass of the electron is simply just negligible compared to the mass of the proton and the neutron. Okay, so back to the learning outcome. Having explained all those stuff, I hope that all students now are able to identify and describe protons, neutrons, and electrons in terms of their relative charges and relative masses. So once again, these are the relative char charges and these are the relative masses. So this video then sums up this learning outcome A and I hope you have liked this video. If you like this video, just hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you again for another video which we will then move on to learning outcome B and so on and so forth from the subject of JCH2 chemistry, atomic structure. Thank you for tuning in and see you again.